Hello, my name is Bray Wyckoff. I'm the director of Kingdom Writers Association here in San Diego um, at Awakening International Training and Reformation Center. Uh, I just want to talk to you a little bit about uh, character dialogue and how to effectively write that dialogue that makes it interesting. Um, so I'm going to give you a couple points and there's so much more involved with uh, character development and, and all of that in regards to dialogue. But just here's some simple steps that, um, that you can work through when you're creating your characters and then walking them through uh, uh, dialogue scenes. So the first one is just let it flow. Um, get it out. Have the basic uh, structure of your dialogue, um, your back and forth, who's speaking. Um, and it's similar to just writing a book. I just say get it out. So just have a, a mind dump of the scene um, with your characters and then have them interact with one another and what happens is when you read it back it sounds really wooden um, it sounds fake it doesn't sound real so but at least you got it out and so just let it flow and uh, just get it out of here and onto paper that's the first step and then the other thing is I'm checking my notes here act it out um, I love this part um, so when you are going through it read it out loud uh, anytime you're writing any of your, your work, read it out loud to yourself because you're going to pick up nuances and issues or doesn't flow right or doesn't sound right. Same with dialogue. So read it out loud, but then also act out the, uh, in, in, in the, the voice uh, inflections uh, for your characters that you're seeing or hearing in your mind. Um, so that's a really good way to start finessing your dialogue and hearing it out loud, verbalized. Um, because if you're hearing it one way and it reads another, um, then it, it'll sound off. You'll, you'll notice it uh, quite a bit. So, um, so the first thing is let it flow. The next thing is act it out. And the third one is people watch. Love this one as well. You will get a lot of character development and uh, the dialogue uh, sensations or the senses of all the dialogue going on around you if you just watch people i love going to starbucks and i'll put in my earbuds sitting next to somebody but i have nothing playing i could hear the conversations around me and it's interesting um hearing what people are saying or how they converse and how they talk um so you you, you pick up nuances you pick up uh inflections in their voices you pick up um, the way they roll their eyes, or just little things that you can insert into um, your conversation with your characters and, and during your, your book writing. Um, so you can definitely walk around when you're walking around a store, uh, standing in line, uh, when you're at uh, the movie theater, uh, wherever you go, watch people and how they interact with one another. Um, people love telling stories. So what are they doing with their hands? And they're like, oh my gosh, and you had to have been there. And, you know, they just start going into this. And uh, uh, so just people watch and uh, study. You'll, you'll learn a lot, and it'll help your, your dialogue structure. So, and then the fourth one, avoid the obvious dialogue. Um, and what I mean by this is just that on the nose, back and forth, uh, no surprise dialogue. Um, like I was saying, very wooden um, sounding. So here, let me give you an example. Hello, Mary. Hi, Sylvia. Uh, my, uh, you have a wonderful outfit you're wearing today. Uh, oh, this old thing? It, it looks good on you. Oh, it's not new, but thank you for saying. You know, so it sounds very wooden. So, um, but if you, you want to have surprises when you for your readers. You want to carry it on. They don't. They want to get through all that fluffy talk. We know it's there. We don't need to hear all of it. So you can simply change it up by saying, Hello, Mary. Sylvia, I didn't see you. This is a wonderful outfit you're wearing. Where is he, Sylvia? It, so it just changes everything about that encounter with these two people. Um, and so just get to the point. Get to where you're going and, and lead us. Um, through that with with the, with their characters and dialogue is huge um, and I, I love having dialogue because it really brings out the character it brings the reader into the characters quicker and uh, it just carries the story uh, better 
So the fifth thing, engage your readers with confrontation. So have some, uh, confrontation, like I just did with that example where the ending was, where is he, Sylvia? What does that mean? There's something going on and, and we're trying to figure it out. So there's some type of confrontation. There's something happening. There's, there's a mysteriousness to the conversation that, that you we're, we're drawing the reader through. So um, engage the readers is, is the biggest thing there. Engage us. Um, and then drop words, create real speech patterns. So, um, something like that is, uh, you know, my, uh, what, what is someone asked me, what is your dragon's name? My dragon's name is Gertrude and he is, you know, blah, blah, blah. But if you start dropping thing, um, dragon's names, Gertrude, um, and, and you know what I mean? So drop that he is kind of stuff. So drop key little words or, um, and, and you'll really spice up, uh, the characters and their voices and the dialogue. So, um, just drop simple little words. Even if you dropped one, uh, just have fun with it. And again, go back to listening to how other people talk and conversations. Then you'll, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. We drop words all the time. We have, we have slang. We have so many things. We don't speak formal. Um, so, and then there's some people who do speak formal. So, there's so many little nuances you can have with your characters and the dialogue. So, I love it. And then the last thing is have fun. If you're not having fun writing character dialogue and 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 the scene that you're building with your characters, then we're not going to have fun as a reader, and it's most likely going to come off really boring. So. And, I, and that goes with anything if you write. If you're not having fun with a certain chapter and it's just not exciting, then then you need to change something. You need to add some excitement. Add something in there. Um, press in for the more and uh, and just have fun with that. So let me break down this, this, the seven little steps here. We want to have uh, let it flow, get it out, um, act it out is number two, uh, people watch number three, uh, avoid the obvious dialogue number four, um, engage your readers uh, with confrontation or some type of mis mystery. Uh, drop little words uh, to create that real speech pattern. And then the last thing, have fun. So hope this has been a blessing to you. And I, I know it will be. It, and uh, just go for it. And uh, all the th little things that you pick up along the way, just add them to your tool belt and just keep sharpening, sharpening your skills. So I look forward to uh, hearing your conversations with your characters as I know they will get developed and become stronger and stronger and stronger. Bless you, and uh, we will talk to you later.